Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome to Erica Rose Hop for me, uh, Crop for me. Erica, thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of it this month. Um, I was just super honored to uh, to do this. So thank you for first and foremost for that. My challenge today, you guys, is I'm hoping a fun one for you. I want you to go into your closet or your kid's closet or your husband's closet or whatever and find an article of clothing to inspire your layout. It could be your background. It could be whatever. But that's what I want you to do today. So I have this striped shirt. Hopefully it's not too crazy on screen, but it's just little black lines with pineapples on top of it. And it is one of my favorite shirts. I wear it a lot, especially as we get closer into summer. And I feel like it will make the coolest background with just stripes and then having something, I'm not sure if I'll use pineapples, but something as a pop kind of spread throughout and then build my layout on top of that. So that is going to be my plan and I'm going to do it with you um, pretty much semi-live. Obviously this is a recording. I had to film this ahead of time because I work Saturdays, but I only work Saturdays, so I really can't complain too much. That is going to be my plan. So I hope you'll enjoy. Again, I'm just going to repeat my challenge. It's an easy one. Go into your closet, your kid's closet, your partner's closet. I don't know, your dog's closet, anything. Find an article of clothing that inspires you. It could be the colors. It could be if it's a graphic tee, whatever is on there to anything. But an article of clothing to go ahead and inspire you to create your layout. And I would love to see if you could snap a photo of that article of clothing, plus your layout. That would be so much fun to see. So that is the challenge. And now I'm gonna switch you and let's uh, create this layout together. All right, so all I'm gonna do is take my shimmers. It is Night Vibes is what it's called. Um, and just use a thin paintbrush. It's just a paintbrush I got from Michaels and draw little small lines to kind of match the shirt that I am being inspired by. And I'm just gonna go all the way down and just make these lines. This was so easy. I loved how simple it was and I love the effect. I'm gonna add some splatters as well so you can see that. Just for some added interest, that is not in my shirt. Splatters are not on the shirt that I'm being inspired by. But that's, this is the point of having inspiration, is you take something and you make it your own. So that was me kind of doing my own thing with it. So there we go. That's what it looks like all done and dry. I now have my shirt next to me so you can kind of see what I'm working with. And I'm going to grab these really beautiful vellum florals. They are from Rosie Studios and they are called Take Flight. And they're, yeah, they're just called vellum floral die cuts. There's 24 of them in the collection. It includes the leaves and stuff like that. And I am going to just randomly place them around the layout in place of, or in lieu of where the pineapples would be on my shirt is where I'm going to put these flowers and I think it works really well. I think you can totally see the inspiration. I just, I love it. I'm trying to make sure that I don't have too many similar colors next to other colors and that I leave a spot for my photo to be placed because eventually I have got to have a photo on here, right? Um, this is supposed to just be for my background. So I'll go ahead and do that. I find two cute little photos of my youngest and myself, and I'm just going to make this super simple because I want this background to stand out, especially considering I'm trying to do this as a challenge for you guys. So I kept my layout very simple. I'm just gonna back it with a piece of pattern paper along with some, um, what else do I do? Oh, I do two pattern papers. So I do this really soft green, I love this kind of marbled one. This is from Pretty Little Studios, and I believe it's called My Daydreams or something Daydreams, possibly. I then am going to go ahead and use just a little sliver of yellow as well to kind of have that balance with the yellow that you can see in the vellum that I used. And then I'm going to tuck in the rest of all of the florals. I do some tucked into the photo itself. And then I take some of the leaves and try to color match them to the florals that are off of the little black lines that I drew. 
and kind of make them all go together the way I want them to. And that is going to put this layout together. So I'm going to come back live and wrap this up for you. Okay, so I didn't I didn't do much. Um, I just wanted to leave all the prettiness, so I really didn't do anything. Just added my photos, added the title Happy Heart, and then the few extra vellum pieces that I had off to the side, I just added them to either the flowers themselves or tuck them under my photo. But there you have it, my layout based off an article of clothing in my closet. I cannot wait to see what you guys create. And again, thank you, Erica, so much for inviting me to host a challenge. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.